Hi guys, Zong here, back from Canada, back with another math video. Today we're going to be solving uh, Buffin's needle problem. And uh, Buffin's needle problem is a classic problem. Um, it's about probability. So essentially the problem states that you have a floor with uh, a bunch of cracks in it, right? And um, you have a needle. And for for this for this problem, we're going to assume the needle is the same uh, same length as the 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 distance between cracks in the floorboard. So the the distance between cracks in the floorboard will be L, and the length of the needle will also be L, and they're going to be the same length. And Buffin's needle problem essentially asks: Let's say you drop a needle um, randomly, just throw it onto the floor. What is the probability that the needle uh, will land on a crack or or whether it lands um, between the cracks so um, without further ado let's 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 get started on solving this pause the video if you need to um, so for convenience's sake I'm going to draw a smaller diagram so I'm using a newer tablet pen so I'm not completely used to this um, and so this is the floorboard right and say you have a needle. That's the needle. So, the the problem we want to the, the thing is we we want to have a way of classifying um, exactly uh, the, how the needle lands, so that we can we can actually go about solving this question. So how how do we classify the way the needle lands? So let's say this is the these are the two cracks. Well. The first parameter that we can we can use to classify how the needle lands is that let's say the needle lands like this, and the the parameter we can use is 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 using the center of the needle. The center of the needle is just here. We can the parameter we can use is how far the center of the needle is from one of the cracks. So in this case, this would be the distance which we'll denote as D, uh, of the center of the needle from one of the cracks. Um, and as you can see, D cannot, D, D is, D is going to be greater than or equal to zero, uh, less than or equal to um, L over two. And why is that? Well, what happens is it can't be greater than L over two because um, let, let's say that, let's say that, oh, Oh, the 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 needle landed like this. Now d is greater than l over two. And then remember, this is this is this is l. D is greater than l over two. Well, no, d is not greater than l over two because this is actually d. It's the closest distance from the center of the needle to a crack. So actually, d cannot be greater than l over two because if it if it if it, if it moves farther away from one crack, it gets closer to another crack. So we have a parameter d. But uh, where the center of the needle falls is not the only parameter. The angle at which it falls is another parameter. So we have the needle here, and we have D. Uh, we have D. Now we have this thing called. Now we have this theta, the angle at which the needle falls from the horizontal. And theta can be anywhere. Theta can be greater than or equal to zero to pi. Uh, it can fall like this. It can fall like this. 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 All the way to pi. Uh, but if you go past pi, if you go past pi, so this is this is this is at pi. If you go past pi, then this end just goes up again, and theta goes back to zero. So when theta reaches all the way to pi, and the needle becomes horizontal and it keeps turning, then this end of the needle will just rise up again and theta will just go back from zero so the bounds of theta are from zero to pi so it, this can go from all the way from here to here so that's a way to classify the angle of the angle of of the needle so when we when we throw the needle uh, when we throw the needle d d theta is completely random it's a uniform probability distribution uniform probability distribution which, between uh, zero and pi, theta can be anywhere from between zero and pi. At, at land in any angle, and the probability of each angle being chosen is the exact same. So it's uniform probability distribution of theta 
and a uniform probability distribution of d. The the distance the the distance uh, from the crack can be anywhere from zero to a length over two, and the probability of having that distance is the same for all distances. So the probability of uh, d being smaller versus greater is not is is not um, you know the probability of d being smaller or greater is the same. Uh, it can land anywhere from anywhere along this crack, so d can really be anything. Um, and the probability of d being a certain value is the same for any given value of d. Like, there's not a greater chance it's going to land close to a crack than from, like, right here, right? So we have two uniform probability distributions, and that actually makes things a bit easier because now we can actually draw a graph um, of, the, of, the, of the probabilities. So let's draw this graph of theta versus d. So d can go from 0 to L over 2, and theta can go from zero to pi. So this is the total. This is the total space of possible uh, needle throws. Um, any needle throw, any way the needle lands, it, it represents a point in here. Represents how the needle lands. So the needle lands like this. Oh, D is sort of sort of up here. D is like sort of far, and then the angle is sort of not quite pi yet. So it would be like right here. So any way the needle falls, like right here. D is very small. Uh, theta is still uh, less than pi over two, so it would be like right here, perhaps. So any any way the needle falls, it can it, it there is a way to to quantify. Uh, there is a point within this space that represents that. So it's total pop, total space, uh, total space of possibilities. So how many points within this space? Uh, do the does the needle land on uh, a crack? Uh, the way we can actually tell that is by using finding this distance, the the distance from the horizontal, and this distance is equal to. So remember, this length is l over two. So this distance is actually one half l sine theta. So yes, one half l sine theta gives the vertical distance of the needle. And if the vertical distance of the needle is greater than d, then it is on a crack. So lands on crack, then d is less than or equal to, well less than actually, half sine l sine theta. Um, and uh, yeah, so that that <clears throat> that is actually how, how uh, the that is that actually is, is an equation that can be used to show the region of possibilities. And if you graph it on this, it actually looks sort of like this, sort of like this curve, sort of a curve like this. And everything under here is where the needle lands on a crack. And why is that? Well, uh, if 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 the if it if the needle lands on a crack. Let's see. So here's a crack. Here's here's D, right? And this length, this length is equal to one half L sine theta. And we can see that if if see because if this is theta, then that's theta. And we can see that if uh, D is less than one half L sine theta, then part of the part of the needle is on the crack, right? Uh, that works for up here too. So this is d. This is one half l sine theta. So so if d is less than one half l sine theta, then then the needle has landed on a crack. And if we graph this, it graphs to like this. So so we can actually use a calculus. And it requires a bit of calculus. Um, we can find the area under this curve, and the calculus is from zero to pi, um, one half l sine theta d theta. If you calculate this, you get negative one half cosine theta plus uh, negative one half cosine theta from zero to pi. Um, sorry, l cosine theta from zero to pi. And actually, that that if you calculate it is negative one half l cosine pi minus uh, plus one half l cosine zero, and and that just gives you l actually because this adds to coefficients of l add to one, so it actually gives you l. So the area under this curve is l. 
area you can see go to L. And what's the what's the total area under this under this probability distribution? Well it's the the height is L over two and the length is pi. So the total area total area equals um L pi over two. So prob the probability that it lands on a crack is equal to L over L pi over two, which is two over pi. And I, I believe that is zero point six something. Something. So that that is the probability that the needle will land on a crack. If the length is uh, equal to the distance between the cracks, that's Buffin's needle problem. That thought that was cool, a cool little problem to show you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, uh, we are actually selling Cyclic Squares t-shirts, um, and if you are interested, you should like our status on Facebook. Um, if you want to like our status on Facebook, we will contact us, and if there is enough interest, we will sell. Uh, we, it, I think there already is enough interest. Yes, there is. So yes, we are selling Cyclic Squares t-shirts. Um, I lost mine, so I'll probably buy one, um, and I'll, I'll actually see you guys next week. A, um, B plus C minus A, union B minus A, union C minus, minus B, union C, plus A, union B, union C. Um, essentially, 